The inequities in schools have always been there, but unfortunately and fortunately, they have been magnified with COVID and we have a lot more people paying attention. I'm Dr. Hiller Spires, Executive Director of the Friday Institute for Educational Innovation, Associate Dean and Alumni Distinguished Graduate Professor in the College of Education. Today, I'm happy to have with me Drs. Patricia Hilliard and Angie Mullenix. The mission of the Friday Institute is to advance education through innovation in teaching, learning, and leadership. We bring together students, teachers, researchers, policymakers, and educational professionals to foster collaborations that improve education for all learners. We knew broadband connection was an area of struggle across our state. Um, we also knew that we had lots of um, school districts and schools that were not a one-to-one -one scenario with devices and technology. While we knew those things, they really didn't seem to be too much of an issue until COVID happened. Um, and then we suddenly found ourselves in our homes um, struggling to log on if we had a device, um, make connections with our teachers. I remember talking to the Friday Institute and saying, we really aren't sure what we need to do. We just need to do something. We need to support our teachers. We need to support our leaders. We were very, very responsive to the needs of the state of North Carolina. Um, so when the Department of Public Instruction contacted us for partnership, for support, we were already ready to jump in. We were already doing FI Connects, Friday Institute Connects, which was very informal Zoom sessions that were set up to connect teachers and administrators and coaches and media coordinators across the state. But we really jumped in with a series of professional learning offerings that went for a roughly two months, live for two months. Friday Institute has engaged approximately 50,000 educators with our online programming to date. And this is a tenfold increase since the same time last year prior to the pandemic. Um, I was part of a collaborative with some other state leaders at that time, and other states were looking at the way Friday Institute was conducting that support for our uh, teachers and leaders. We thought this was going to end in the spring, and, and now we realize we don't know when it's going to end. And instead of us thinking that there will be an end, let's, let's prepare for how we can truly reshape education and not in a temporary manner. We really need to talk about the topic at hand and the impact that it is going to have on students who do not have that access, whether it is the internet, whether it is high quality teaching, whether it is an administrator that supports them or they feel welcome. Because while we do have a population of students who are really doing well, during COVID for a number of different reasons. We have a number of also students who are traditionally marginalized and this situation that we are in is further marginalizing. We are the Friday Institute for Educational Innovation. And just thinking about that last word, innovation, while it may be overused, I really do believe that the Friday Institute is set in a place that we could lead those innovative practices, but then also we are set in a place where we could also emphasize and promote traditional pedagogy that is working, that has you know been researched and tested that does work, and marrying those two together. So marrying the, the new creative practices with the traditional so that we can come up with and we're always thinking forward uh, for each and every child and each and every educator to keep moving forward.